Okey, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. To our participant, Puan Nur Izani. Hai Puan Nur Izani. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, we would like to thank you uh, for taking the time to talk to us about your experience. Okay. So, uh, my name is Taufik and with my fellow friend Fakru Salam and Fazila, uh, we are here to talk to you about your experience in uh, your journey uh, with uh, your supervisor actually. So today we are going to uh, ask a bit lah about your uh, your experience with your, your supervisor in the postgraduate students journey. Okay, so uh, which this conversation conversation is strictly confidential and we won't share any details with anyone outside the immediate people working on this project. Uh, we have prepared a consent form for you to review and sign before and if any point if at any point you want to take a break or stop the interview please just let us know and we can we can work out around it so uh, any question before uh, any question before we begin when is any no Okay, good. So, let's get started. Okay, uh, as per question we have, we gave you before, uh, first thing first, we would like to ask you about, uh, could you, could you tell us about your background as a postgraduate student and describe the nature of your research, please? Okay. Hello everyone. Hi. Uh, my background, uh, I'm a science and biology teacher at an international school, currently pursuing my PhD in social science. Uh, my research interests lie in the study of human behavior and community's capacity to cope with different situations. Research is my passion and I'm proud to have published several papers including one Scopus Proceeding and one uh, Web of Science paper. In 2022, I won a champion in three-minute thesis competition in the social science category at UTHM. Okay, uh, okay th thank you, Puan Izzani. Um, so, uh, uh, we will, we would like to hear from your experience. Uh, would you tell us about your relationship with your supervisor, please? My relationship with my supervisor is pretty good. Yeah, very good. I can say that uh, we can talk about anything, and yeah, it's a very positive relationship okay next we go to Puan Nurul Fazila to, for next question hello Encik uh, Fakrul hello sorry uh, can I can interrupt uh, for second uh, question could you please uh, explain how you could manage your research every day to Full, uh, as full-time postgraduate student? Yeah, uh, it is becoming difficult for me to manage everything. As a result, I have decided to extend my PhD uh, study. It's actually beyond six semester now. Uh, however, I have found that there are several AI tools that available that can assist me in managing my time more efficiently. Oh, oh okay. Uh, and uh, what a challenge and difficult uh, did you encounter during uh, to, to uh, the complete 
completion of your research. Okay, for challenges and difficulties, uh, throughout my journey from 2020, being pregnant, a mother and a wife, I am currently balancing the responsibilities of work and pursuing a postgraduate degree. It is not easy, but life is not just about academic, right? Hidup ni bukan semata-mata hanya untuk PhD, so ada banyak lagi perkara yang kita boleh buat. So pursuing PhD without grant, scholarship or financial support means that I have to find ways to feed myself so that I can buy a new handbag or whatever. So it's definitely challenging and requires pure passion and interest to keep going. Yeah, definitely challenging. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, from uh, last, how do you schedule your valuable uh, time to discuss your, uh, your research with your supervisor? Especially your supervisor is unavailable. Okay, Alhamdulillah, my supervisor and co-supervisor are very accommodating and easy to communicate with, whether in person or via technology. They are lenient and flexible. We can talk over a coffee chat and technology is advancing right now. So we can zoom wherever, right? So everything is reachable at your fingertips. So whether it is whether we can meet in person or not, everything is actually easier, a lot easier lah nowadays because of the technologies. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, now I pass to my friend, uh, Jitofi. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Fazila. So, uh, continue the question. Recently, study have shown the postgraduate student often face anxiety, prolonged depression, and mental stress when uh, completing their research, especially when the postgraduate student have a uh, conflict with uh, their supervisor. And uh, the worst thing happen when they decide to quit the their study. Okay, based on your observation and past experience, what do you think uh, about the situation? Okay, uh, for me, it is important to take breaks when you feel tired. Yeah? Do not force yourself. Fortunately, my supervisor isn't someone who pushed me to work beyond my capacity. However, for those who face such a problem, it is advisable to report directly to the management or chancellor, whoever. Lah. Because postgraduate students pay fees for their studies. Eh? We pay for our, for our education. And I think that our supervisor should not act like bosses. The relationship between a student and a supervisor should be friendly and based on partnership of ideas. We are no longer living in 1981, right? This is 2024. And people, especially supervisors, should live in reality. Okay, uh, the next question. Uh, in your opinion, how to overcome misunderstanding between a postgraduate student and their supervisor? Okay, uh, both parties, I mean both sides, should approach with a willingness to learn from each other and recognize uh, that neither is superior. So we, we must learn from each other. Lah. Okay, I pass the question to uh, Encik Taufik. Okay, uh, for the next question, uh, we would like to ask you about uh, uh, what are your present and future plans future plans once your research is completed okay uh, the goal is to publish papers and that have a great great impact on society to share knowledge uh, more widely and to contribute to the society. Lah. OK, 
Okay, uh, next. Um, what are your expectations on your relationship with your supervisors during the completion of your research? Uh, of course, in a good term. I mean, it is very important, very crucial because uh, if we have a good, we if we are in a good term with our supervisors, there are a lot more um, things that we can explore together. I mean, a lot more uh, projects or things that we can we can uh, work together in the future now and even in the future. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I pass to Fazila. Okay, the last and last, last question. Uh, in your opinion, what is the best way to maintain a good relationship between postgraduate student and uh, diaspora in order to achieve the quality research successful uh, during the postgraduate student journey? Okay, uh, for me, both should play their role. Yeah? Supervisor should play their role and students should play their role as well. So, saling menghormati pandangan masing-masing and be an adult, discuss like an academician, allow brainstorming to be both-sided yeah? so we can see the knowledge from a different perspective with a broader wide or bro a broader view and the result will be more dynamic. Yeah? So, both supervisor and student shouldn't humiliate themselves with such low mentality. Lah. So we must have, we must be better than that. Lah. Must be, yeah, play our role, play our part. Okay, uh, I think that's all uh, our series of questions to Ban Noizyadi. So, all of us, we would like to thank. Uh, we would like to thanks a lot for your times uh, that you give for us. Okay. Uh, so, any question? Any more question? Uh, with my, for my friends. Mas uh, Salam and Fadila. Okay. So that's a wrap. Thank you very much, Puan Uzeni. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Bye bye. See you again. Thank you.